Hey there, Sharon Peterson here, and um, I had a surprise in my garden today. So, a little backstory. Last week, this is Sunday, so yeah, it was last week. I am thinking maybe four days ago, I planted potatoes in this little row that's right behind me here. You can see, I've just got a short row here. It's an experimental potato patch where I am just laying the potatoes on the ground, covering them with, um, I've got leaves and straw both, and we were gonna grow them that way. I've heard it called Ruth Stout Method, I've heard it called No Dig, I've heard it called Planting in Mulch, Leaves. But I had a problem today. I decided to come out, and this because I'm curious, I had to look, and I wanted to pull a potato out and just see how it was doing. And to my delight, they are actually growing. We got potatoes that are growing little leaves on them, and so it was working. However, that's that side, and this is this side. I did not cut these potatoes. I have something eating my potatoes. So there's one, here's another one. It's just munched all over. Here's another one. I found four potatoes. I think I planted seven. I didn't write it down, so I'm not sure. I didn't plant a lot because this is an experiment. I've got my regular, usual, traditional, traditionally planted potatoes back behind me here. Oh gosh, I hope the voles don't find it too, but Anyway, the Volves love my mulch. They liked my potatoes. They had a little dinner under there and I'm sure they'll be back. So we're gonna move on to plan B. Um, and I am gonna be researching voles, how to get rid of voles. I know that they come because there's grubs and I have read that if you get rid of the grubs that the voles will go away because the food source is gone. However, this is also a food source. So. Anyway, if you know anything about voles and you have an idea for me on how to get rid of them, leave a comment. I am all ears. So, but we are going to now plant my, um, these rescuable potatoes. I have four of them. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in containers instead. So we're gonna do potatoes in containers. And then I thought, well, why don't I do a container and I'll just do the mulch on top of it in a container. So that's what I'm gonna do. Right here, I just have, this is just a planter a uh, nursery pot. I think, I think we got an apple tree in this, but I put some dirt in the bottom. It's about a third full. I plunked my potato on top of that and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the same mulch and I'm going to cover it up and we're just going to see how that works. We're going to see if it grows up through it just like it would have if it was in the ground. I am also going to do the same thing with some containers only I'm just going to use dirt and we're going to put potting soil, um, not potting soil, we're going to use a a potting soil that I made. It's actually part peat moss and part my natural soil. Um, the peat moss is to loosen it up because you need loose dirt whenever you're doing a container like this. I do know that. So plan B. Root stout is not going to happen this year. We're going to do potatoes instead in containers. So let me know what you know about voles and I will keep you updated on how my container potatoes go. We'll talk to you later. Bye.